Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. We are excited to be here today, and we got another message coming from a very close friend of mine, and I want to respond to this raw and real and get down with you today. But before we do that, I'd like to take a second to tell you, if you're enjoying this content, please take the second to share, like, comment, and subscribe on all of our social media, YouTubes, and wherever you watch podcasts. We appreciate your guys' time, and we appreciate your continued efforts in helping spread the message to help us all grow and create impact in the world and go after that barbaric life that we deserve. That being said, let's get into this show. I didn't grow up well off by any means, but my parents always sacrificed so we could have what they didn't. That's how my life now is. I want to give my kids everything I never had growing up, mainly opportunities. I've worked hard for everything I've ever had, and not once did I believe I couldn't achieve anything in life as long as I put my mind to it. I chose to serve our country in the military for this reason. Our current so-called leadership is stripping that away to nothing while they get rich off our hard labor, and I fear what will be left for our country and for our children. That outright near hatred and disgust I feel for the direction our country is going makes me sick to my stomach. I'm doing everything I can to create change in my sphere of influence. Some days it's extremely hard to grasp any hope though. And that hit me right, right square between the eyes because that's about as real as we can get, ladies and gentlemen. In this dogfight that we know is life, a lot of us come from different places. We come from different backgrounds, we've experienced different things, but that doesn't change the hard is hard. That doesn't change the fear is fear. That doesn't change the comfort is not always available. And it certainly doesn't change what pain feels like. And so to this very special and very close person to me, I'd like to encourage you. You grew up in an area where it was hard. You grew up in a place that it was hard. You grew up in financial risk. You grew up in poverty, just like I did. We grew up broken tattered, ready to rage war against anything that we could to survive. From chasing fish on creeks and riding bikes, skateboarding everywhere we could. Dude, you've lived a life. And although times are scary, I'd like to remind you that where you came from is how you know you're going to make it. And where you came from is how you know that without a doubt, your kids can count on you. Because the truth is, all that pain, all that doubt, all that fear, all of that, every bit of that has made you the man you are today. The person that everybody respects and the person that we love. And you can't quit this fight because we need you. And the truth is your kids need you because they see you every day. They see what dad does when he's grinding. They see what dad does when he's serving this country. They see what real leadership is through you. Let that light inside of you be so bright that your kids can't put it out. Let that light be so bright that your kids don't understand what it's like because other men are mere <laughs> in the fear fact of what they are compared to you and what you're able to accomplish. May your kids go after the biggest things possible and dream big because they watch you do it. And the truth is, man, you're already doing it. So you can't quit. That's not on the table. So what do we do? But it's simple, man. You grind harder. You dig in deep and you find those very reasons and that piss poor leadership that you're dealing with and you attack it head on like the tip of the spear that you are. You become the leader that you're missing. You become the leader that your kids need. You become the parent that you didn't have and you become that monster that won't settle that is barbaric and that goes after everything with the tenacity that people don't understand. You teach your kids that there's no dream too big and there's nothing, nothing that can get in the way of pure heart, grit, determination, and an unbreakable will. What you do is you fight and you push that fight and you teach those kids how to fight and you do that from a place of love and compassion, but you get ready to turn that switch on and turn into that monster that we all know you are. This fight is far from over, brother, but we're in it and we're all in it together.